We are a little over two weeks out from PASIC and I'm not gonna lie to you, a little bit nervous. It's gonna be tight. Bill finished up the railing on this podium for the Cambridge Symphony Orchestra. Cross that off the list, I was taking more pictures for the website. I rolled in today around 10, picking up the shop. I was here yesterday afternoon, evening, wet sanding. This area's a little blown up, but I gotta pick my poison, and right now it's drums. These all came out of the spray booth, sprayed last night. Bill will determine if they are good and cure out, or if we sand back and spray again. This is the last one of the first five I'm wet sanding. This is a customer drum line, three snares, one bass. Those will probably go into spray today. Hoops are getting red dye. These are the other four shells I wet sanded. They are gonna get buffed and polished. If Bill remembers to get the trim piece, we gotta do a uh, trim cap edge banding thing for this. I know he's bringing more parts today. The rest of the uh, strainers. I think we're still short some hoops. DFD's out. Drum gear online. Took our money in order but hasn't sent anything or responded so that's a problem. Might be a case of assemble as many as we can and call it good. And I'm working on a custom display shelf for those in my shop. May get footage of that tomorrow, maybe not. I've switched up my process for wet sanding. This Total Boat water-based finish is quite resilient. So I go at it first, 320, dry. Try to get all the shine out. Then I go 400 wet. Let it dry off. If there's any spots left, I'll go touch it up again with a 320. 400 wet. Let it dry. Keep going at the spots until there's no shine with the 400. Then I'll make a pass with the 6, pass with the 8, over to the buffing wheel. It's not too bad. It tears up the elbow though. You can kind of hear it start to even out too. You can feel it glide with the soapy water and you can hear it. You can hear the scratch. It's probably a high spot. And that goes away, you know you're level. There's eight more after these five. There's eight more. I mean, three of them are small. Two piccolos and a kid size drum. Kind of makes you want to punch yourself in the face. I definitely need to get some kind of motorized contraption that clamps the shells and spins it. You can just sit here. And... That's what we need. I don't know how to make it though. Should be good. Then we can polish them, then bearing edges, then more work. Just as much run out as the one that I was replacing. 
At least this one's sharp. Okay, dude, that Home Depot BIOS is the worst. Ryobi bits. Also the worst. But it was my only option. I wasn't expecting much, but like, come on. That is so much run out. I still think we need to try a modified pocket hole bit. Yeah, they had some of those actually, and I was considering, I was considering that, but since we're kind of on the clock here, I don't know. I wasn't expecting this much run out. But like I say, at least it's sharp, so it is still an improvement over what I had. He made an update to the fixture. He was talking all about it, but I wasn't filming because you know, no one cares what he says, anyways. You're not wrong. But it's got an adjustable stop block on the back that actually stays square to the jig. And he messed with the angle. That's a 45 instead of the 51. 51.5-ish. 51 yep. Which is way better because it's the approximate angle of the Great Pyramid. That's why it's so magical. That's right. Also, 51.50. The police code or the Van Halen album? Van Halen. Oh. What's that the police code for? It might not be police. Isn't it the code for mental illness or something? Oh, I have no idea. Oh. Okay, that's five shells stepped up through two grits. I gotta go through the other two. I gotta get my elbow a break. 5150. Welfare code, involuntary detainment. So not the code for smoking baby scene. <laughs> I don't even know if that's the right album. We're not really Van Halen fans. These have to be sanded back for another coat of spray. That's probably also gonna be great for the old elbow. Here he is, in his element, fixing his mistakes. Actually, most of this is my mistakes. Shell voids? Yeah. And honestly, on these 8-inch hoops that I totally fabricated, the voids are almost non-existent. So, hey, that's cool. But yes, yeah, me fixing my mistakes is definitely me in my element. <laughs> That's for sure. Every time I do this, I think, you know, I should swap these bolts out for something that aren't seven inches long. Yeah. And then I never do. Same. In case anyone ever talks to Shannon, that is seven inches. <laughs> Yeah. You sell a kidney? Number 16. I'm ready to kill myself. I had two gloves on. Then my hands got coated in this. And the inside of my ears started to itch. So I took my glove off. 
Then I couldn't get one back on because it sweat and they kept breaking. So here I am. I still have two shells to buff. Bill's working on J-hooks. We need them for the five child size rope drums. It's been on his list of products to make for a while anyway. Adds to the custom hardware line and further fuels my addiction of adding things to the online store. More stuff we don't have to buy from other people. And we can sell to people. Yep. I'm pretty unfamiliar with insert tooling, so I haven't got a feel yet for like when they're at the end of their usable life. Second round of spray is happening. Uh, blue snare, blue base. Hoops are being dyed. Uh, I'm unroping one of the fun drums, which we're probably not going to get to because those are the Steve Weiss hoops. I got snares put on one. One. We bought a bunch of 12 inch Pure Sound snares. I thought I remembered those being a problem. Bill thought we had resolved the problem. Turns out we hadn't. Pure Sound are long, longer than these, and they basically bottom out on the shell, so you cannot get rid of the buzz. These cheapies sound way better. So, can't put any more together. These are in order. Other problem, we're short 12 inch bottom side hoops. Two that we got are all wonky. They're undersized, they don't fit. So we need to try to return those or exchange them. We need a total of four. If you have them, if you have some, if you're a drum builder and you watch this and you have some and you want to sell them, let us know. DFD's out. Gibraltar, no beans. Sweetwater, no beans. Uh, it's not good. It's pretty much a wrap. We have our next game plans. Bill needs to jump on the J-hook parts and the crescent parts. I need to jump on the carpentry for this. Keep pushing the brocades along, keep pushing the rope shells along because some still need sanding back and sprayed and then they're gonna need wet sanding and all that jazz. Snare gates on these, they do look nice though. This they one's my favorite. This one's my favorite. Maybe this yeah, one. Snare gates and I got a drill for carries, but that's, that's no big deal. So two weeks, two weeks to push as hard as we can. That's yeah. what.